Fischl continues to dominate the meta, and today I'll be showing you how to build her best. Let's get into it. So what are Oz's best artifacts? Well, 4-piece Golden Troop rises up as Fischl's new best in slot set. It provides her with a buttload of skill damage, and pretty much all her sub DPS comes from Oz. Plus, it's effective in every team you can slot Fischl into, part of a pretty solid domain too, farm it for sure. Otherwise, 2-piece two 2-piece two sets tend to be the most common on Fischl. This can include a range of 2-piece EM, 2-piece attack percent, and 2-piece electro percent pieces. 2-piece Golden Troop is also effective here. I personally recommend 2-piece Troop and 2-piece Fury the most. You can also slide 4-piece Thunder Silver in there for aggravate and electro charge teams, but one of Fischl's greatest qualities is her flexibility so I wouldn't recommend this set as it limits her team options. 4-piece Gilded Dreams falls into this same category. It's also viable to run your Fischl on 4-piece Tenacity, but this will reduce Fischl's high sub DPS pretty significantly in favor of providing a team-wide attack buff to her team. As for main stats, I generally recommend either ADC or EDC. Attack percent, damage percent, crit percent, EM, Damage percent, crit percent, attack percent, and EM are fairly equal in aggravate teams, or in some cases, attack percent can actually outperform EM. I'd recommend attack percent more personally, since, once again, it's flexible for all her teams. And mind you, Fischl has a lot of teams. As for substop priority, you'll want to go for something a little like this. EM can actually be quite useful, just depends on what teams you're playing her in. As for her ER requirements, you'll generally want around 120 to 140 percent if you're hoping to burst every rotation with her. However, you can get away with a flat 100 percent if you don't plan to burst every rotation with her. Playing her with characters such as Raiden or Never Electro in general also really cut down her ER costs. Generally speaking, you shouldn't run into too many ER issues, official. Awesome, now we've rolled over artifacts. Let's discuss weapons. Fischl has a ridiculous amount of weapon options, man. Her best in slot will be Polar Star. Amazing stat stick and a passive which provides her with lots of attack percent plus skill and burst damage. You can also viably stick Elegy on her for more ER and team wide buffs at the cost of a bit less personal DPS. Great base attack though. Literally every other 5 star bow in the game will be close to Polar Star since they all provide a valuable stat stick in some way, with a few having a fairly lucrative passives. So use whatever other 5-star bow you have if you own it, from Harp all the way to Simulacra. Ali Hunter can get quite competitive with 5-star with picks at R5, featuring a nice, easy-to-stack passive. The Stringless has been one of her most goaded 4-star options for some time, being excellent for her both at R1 and R5. The passive is amazing and works across all her teams, and was a pretty nice choice even pre-Dendro. But nowadays with Aggravate, the extra EM is appreciated for sure. What about the free to plays? I hear you cry, and fear not. Prototype Crescent, Song of Stillness, and Fading Twilight can all be used on Fischl. Crescent and Stillness fall off quite a bit without their passives, so keep that in mind. Fading Twilight gives Fischl some nice extra ER and passive stats to work with. Generally, Fischl just has an abundance of good choices, and she is both high investment positive while also being free to play friendly. Since you made it to the end of this section, why don't I reward you with this nice sheet ranking her best weapons? Pause if you'd like to read for longer. Now on to teams. But before we do that, if you're enjoying the video, why not consider liking and subscribing, maybe even leaving a cool comment down below. And perhaps you could even join my Discord and follow my new Twitch, which will be in the pinned comment. Come along and we can chat. Otherwise, I'm telling Fischl that Santa isn't real and the government invented the Immernachtreich. Now, where can we employ our always naked kingdom? The most obvious answer is in aggravate teams. She'll do excellently with both the Yai variant and the Kachinga variant. She's so good in Dendro because of her A4, which procs every time an electro-related reaction is triggered. This does not include spread, as that's considered Dendro-related. Kaching applies electro at such a fast rate, she's honestly just Fischl's driver, since Oz is carrying the whole team on his back. The electro reactions are constant, so Fischl always gets to fire off A4 shots. Yai is also a valuable contender for aggravate teams, since Fischl produces a buttload of particles, being an absolutely insane battery. 
This resolves the eye's ER issues while pulling off some really high DPS from both Electro units. And Fischl is able to cover for Yai's major weaknesses, and vice versa. A fantastic team, and honestly the best aggravate team on the market right now, definitely give it a spin. Any aggravate team in general should work for Fischl. And yes, you can still make good use of her in spread, you just won't be triggering any Fischl A4s. She'll work very well with all the off-field Dendro units, however. Nahida, Scary Baiju, Kirara, you get the point. Fischl is also a really good pair with many of her Electro units. Beto for ER coverage. She has excellent synergy with Raiden and can provide even more for Raiden Hyper over Kujo Sara. And Sino for ER coverage once again, etc. To cover Beto more specifically, it'd be criminal not to mention what was historically an insane AoE team. Electro Charged or Taser is a tried and true team archetype which can demolish AoE. It's a great pick for free to place too, since it pretty much only features 4 star units. Yet high investment players can enjoy it too, as you can swap out many of the core units for more expensive options. For example, using Kokomi as the on field driver instead of using Shink Cho. Speaking of Hydro units, Fischl also works pretty nicely with the recently released Noivalet, being able to provide him some reactions and particle gen. You can also use Fischl and Soup teams. They're real beneficial. <clears throat> but seriously, these teams produce a myriad of reactions and are fun to see a bunch of colors pop up on screen. I'd still recommend Dendro teams over this, but it is a viable choice. Fischl can be played in Hyper Bloom teams, but you want to note that Fischl is capable of missing the Dendro cores produced. This can actually make it easier for an animal to swirl, however. But even so, I just use Kuki instead for Hyper Bloom teams. Save Fischl for where she works best. A unique technique with Fischl that seems to be overlooked quite a bit is the effect of Overvape. This is the Electro Pyro Hydro interaction. Let me explain. People always say how Yulan at C0 doesn't have enough Hydro for Hu Tao to constantly vaporize. But if you slot Fischl in as the last member of that team and have her cause Overvape, then Hu Tao will be able to vape every time. It's a similar situation with Shangling. Say you're unable to vape with her since not enough Hydro is available. Just stick Fischl on the end, and she'll be vaping perfectly fine. Fischl is still single target oriented though, keep that in mind. The last major slot in for Fischl is Superconduct. You can play Fischl in Yule teams, serving as an excellent battery to the hugely <coughs> backloaded Yula, while also being able to proc plenty of Superconducts for her. She's a great replacement for Raiden here, freeing up a highly valuable 5 star unit with an insane burst in exchange for a unit who actually likes being used as a skill bot. These are all of Fischl's best use cases, but know that you can really just slot her on the end of any team and she'll provide value in some sort of way. For example, she's randomly a good final slot in Ito Geo teams of all things. The possibilities are endless with her. Let's take a look at how she works. Her normals will deal 5 consecutive shots of physical damage. Nothing too special. Her charge shot has a really fancy description, but trust me it's not as impressive as you think. Her skill however, now this is where the money lies. Mechanically, this guy is simple. Press to summon him where you're standing, hold to aim where you want to launch him, and after a few seconds you can press your skill again to reposition alls, aka move the purple bird to where the crazy girl is standing. Alls has a few special properties. He'll deal electro damage for 10 seconds, 12 at C6, and has a 25 second cooldown, but it's actually a 15 second cooldown since Alls is on field for nearly half that time. Alls can also snapshot. Pause here if you don't know what snapshotting is. He'll snapshot when he is initially summoned and when he's re-summoned. So you can basically summon him again after putting up your buffs so he can maintain those buffs. Alls is pretty much the star of the show here, being an insanely good electro battery and a consistent electro reaction enabler. He can also contribute a pretty considerable amount of damage in single target scenarios. Fischl's burst will turn her into Oz and make her really fast. She'll deal electro damage to nearby enemy once, and when her burst ends, Oz will be summoned on field again, and his duration will be reset. If Oz is already on field when you cast Fischl's burst, then he'll get reset anyway and plopped on field again. The burst damage here isn't the main focus. It's the fact that this will keep Oz on field with 100% uptime. AKA Alls will always be doing damage. Her A1 can honestly be ignored. If you charge up your arrow and shoot Alls, he'll deal an AoE Electro Blast with pretty 
a D solid DPS, but this honestly isn't worth using in most of her teams. Her A4, however. Now this is what really makes her the heart of Aggravate. When your on-field character triggers an electro-related reaction, also will deal an extra electro hit to the enemy, scaling 80 off 80% of Fischl's attack. This ability has no ICD, which in simple terms means it can always apply Electro without taking a break, and has a super low cooldown of 0.5 seconds. This not only makes her insane with Dendro, but also makes her an insane Electro Applicator. Her talent priorities aren't really complex. You can actually skip out on leveling her normals, since physical isn't worth it in my opinion, but if you care to have her on field for long periods of time, it might be worth leveling to at least 6. Great, now we get how she works. Let's delve into cons. Ready to take your official to the next level? Let's check these out. This is honestly more of just a nice bonus if you happen to have official on field for a couple of seconds and fire off a few shots with her. Otherwise, this is just kind of whatever. This only affects Oz's initial summon and it's just a small DPS increase. Very nice con since it upgrades your skill by plus 3. Good DPS increase. This, much like C2, isn't that influential to your DPS, but the extra survivability can be appreciated. This sadly doesn't boost Ray Force damage, but it does boost the Electro Strike dealt against enemies. Great C6 increases all's uptime for 2 seconds and causes all's to coordinate his attacks with your active character instead of relying on auto targeting. This will increase Fischl's Electro application and is a chunky increase to your DPS. Truly an excellent 4 star con. Well then, Fischl is seriously meta. Like, really meta. She's literally always been good from the pre dendro era up until now. She's only gotten better and better. To the new and old players, if you, for whatever reason, haven't built Fischl yet, build her! She's so good in so many situations and is an excellent slot in for so many different teams. One of the most flexible, high value characters in the whole game. Hopefully this guide was able to sentence your enemies to death under the power of the Immer Nachreich. This has been Juice, signing out, and I wish you all a day in which you can actually understand Fischl.